Right, so this is me doing a speed sprite of the psychic gym leader for my game. I'm just testing a different formatting because the last video I did was just me doing a speed art of that and I figured eh, I'll add commentary see if it works, if I like it or not. So I'm starting off with uh, Sharon's base because that's kind of what the gym leader wears. Uh, and then I've gone for that Elite Four man who does bug types in Sinnoh. I think he's like Bugsy or something. Uh, so then I go for... Um, I can't remember anyone's name today. Uh, that Aura guy uh, who you meet on Iron Island. Uh, I went for his hand because it's kind of what I want to do because it's got a psychic thing. And I can't... Uh, how do you know the, the hand position's not... Oh, it doesn't bother me actually. I'm just, I think I spent a bit of time fiddling with it because I didn't want to suck from screen on So now I've got to find uh, a colour scheme with the right coloured skin because the gym leader is a man of colour. Um, he's not like a super dark man of colour, but he's just the everything else. So this is me just fiddling with uh, skin tones. And what I should have done was made a colour palette, which I actually do eventually realise because I'm a fool and so now I'm just making a colour palette because I have three different skin tones because I have I'm using three different hands and a face. Well, yeah. Uh, so I think it's uh, we got yeah. I'm making this toner now. I'm just covering his face in. Um, yeah, well, I guess I can use this time to talk about my game. Uh, my game's going good. I'm just stuck on this really stupid error that keeps popping up. It's got to do with. Recognizing Pokemon as male or female is really weird. I, I don't know. All right, so apart from that, and uh, at the moment I'm just running around getting rid of black outlines because I hate black outlines. I'd prefer to have a color similar because it looks a bit better. And, uh, and this is the point where I've forgotten how to get my color scheme. Oh no, no sorry. Uh, graphic Go. Uh, one thing I love about it is you can change the colors, so it just isolates what colors you have in graphic scale, so that's what I have. Uh, so you can change your colour pattern so it's easier to recolor things in graphic scale. Uh, and now this is the point where I've forgotten how you get all the colours back because I realised I missed a colour. Uh, this is me exiting or loading, see if that fixes it. Uh, I have to eventually Google the issue. So I'm getting Sabrina's psychic colour because uh, what seems to be a very prevalent thing for psychic gym leaders is they can actually do psychic stuff. But I mean, yeah, okay, mine does do some psychic stuff, but his is not as extreme as, like, some other people's. Like, you can just do a thing. Like, you can move a teacup. That's that's literally, actually, I'm not even kidding, that's the extent of his psychic powers, despite that looking awesome. So here's me in Photoshop getting rid of the transparent background, because I like uh, moving stuff in Photoshop a bit better and doing transparent backgrounds and stuff compared to graphic scale, because I have no idea. And this is me now just doing technical stuff and adding the types of trainers and yeah um, it's a long slow process of me typing uh, it's actually really cool spread up actually alright so that's immune the trainer and that's the trainer done and that's if we check in if it's okay it looks okay alright so now this is me doing the mug shot um, so I just use Charon's because that's what the main sprites based off and I to be honest I don't really have to do too much to this one uh, what kind of work for Charon Sprite is... Actually, no, I'll tell you later. Uh, so, this is me. Yeah, so just recolor. Also, yeah, I like doing mugshots or anything I'm recoloring in Photoshop because I can recolor so fast in Photoshop compared to graphics. So I decided to get this guy's hand because I didn't like Charon's pointy hand of pointing the things. So I got this hand, so I just removed the stuff and get his hand all looking good. So then after that I reposition his hand and also at this point I realised I accidentally, because I just, you saw me three seconds ago recolor something, uh, I accidentally didn't save that properly. So I lost that, so I'm just redoing it in this, which actually works a bit better to be honest. So I'm just making it look like his hand actually was there the whole time. Alright, so that's me and then I have to crop it, make the size right, change the size. Um, let's go there, remember my resolution and this is, alright, so now I'm just getting the colour palette off the previous sprite. Luckily, the black and white mug shots only use a very... less colours than actual sprites, which is interesting. Uh, so it makes it so much easier to recolor stuff. Uh, so it's just me going through and changing colours and getting rid of that little bit of thing. I never get those things. Like... I mean, I actually... which is funny, because I actually can get those when I wake up in the morning. 
this is me just resizing it, and yeah, that's pretty much this right now. I'm just having a look at his eyes, see if I can make him green, but they look terrible. That's me done, yeah.